this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. I thought this was a kid's game. Individuals who suffer from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Yeah, that's your disclaimer if you're watching this video. <laughs> hey there, I'm Thuni and today I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. And if you don't know what this game is, then you're probably thinking, oh, this is just a nice visual novel. Well, it's not. It gets very, very dark. Eventually. Eventually, it will get very, very dark. But for now, it's just a nice little visual novel. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I playing this game? Well, it's because I've actually been meaning to play this game for a while, and I never really got to it. But I decided, you know what? Since Doki Doki Literature Club Plus is coming out soon, and I will actually do want to play that on this channel, I thought we might as well play this game as right now. Because why not? Let's go. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might throw herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making? But it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. You used to talk to... Disclaimer, I am terrible at reading. If you've seen my other videos, you know. <laughs> you would know that. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I wouldn't get, and I would get tired of waking up. But if she's gonna chase me after me like this, I'm almost better running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the cross, crosswalk, and let Sayori catch up to me. Hey. <laughs> Imagine this entire game just make us sound like a demon. I have slept again, but I got you this time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm doing that. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, say that like you were gonna but you were thinking about annoying me. It's mean, honey. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it, it needs to be mean even if you want to tell. Okay, I'm done doing that. There are a lot of people that are probably annoyed by that. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Tony, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you are going to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, but when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on an average while spending my free time on games and anime. Just like me, IRL. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years just because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. You will at least have to promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a gay girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself reel into her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if it, she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and oh, it's over before you, I know it. After I pack my things, I stay blankly at the wall and looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into class while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one in the left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? <gasps> Mini? Sayori is the vice president. The vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because it would help, because it would be fun to, for her to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Oh, this reading's fucking with me. <laughs> That's it. My interest in literature was guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. I would too. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring a new member. 
and not to get my cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. That I learned from my dad. Sir. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an ear or if she's so, if she's so cunning as to have a plan all this out. I'll let that alongside. That was more of a gag. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of hungry right now and I would do the exact same thing. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third room classes and activities. And it's so quiet in this game, where's the music? Sayori, full of energy, swings the door right open. Bah! Everyone! This is the new member! <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. So I always always say nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy. Look at the atmosphere. Yep, I'm giving her the deep voice. <laughs> ah, Bono. What a nice prize. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You probably, you probably left the video already. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. All words escaped me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Just, sorry. That's okay. Hmm? The girl with the sour attitude whose name apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according so to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moving. Sayori says that quietly into my ear then she turns up towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri who appears to be more compatibly more I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yuri who apparently... Sorry again. Yuri who appears comparatively more mature and timid seems to be a... Seems to have a hard time keeping... Yuri who appears comparatively more t matured and timid seems to be a... Yuri who appears comparatively more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice meeting both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. I don't know you, but I know you. You'll find out why I know her. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Tony. Monica smiles sweetly and leans to the left, which I think is her right. Yeah, I think it's her right, I'm not sure. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league hey you never know like a girl can be completely out of your league and she like date you instead of like the other guys it happens probably only in movies <laughs> so having a smile at me genuinely feels a little y you too monica come sit down tony we made a room for you at the table so come sit next to me or monica i'll get the cupcakes hey i made them i'll get them Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it would, it's been widened so that there's one space next to me, next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed a wrapped tray of clay and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! There's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal dozens of dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Whiskers are thrown with icing and pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking Natsuki. Uh well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayuri so grabs the first then Monica and I follow. It's delicious. Natsuki talks with her mouth full as I already managed to get the icing off her face. I turn the cupcake in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but she's noticing her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... 
I haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe, but not, not for you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us, in front of each of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Personally, I'm a coffee person and I don't read at all. Uh huh, I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least join tea. I'm glad. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically practically dragged here by Sayori. Well I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happier, so that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As the president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a broad member of any major clubs. Weren't you the lead of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take some time and personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to enjoy literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's really a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club here. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it comes to, to something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that, they're, that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we'll all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. But Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about the literature. So Tony, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past, read the past few years, I don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I muttered to myself quietly, half choked. Natsuki is it suddenly perks up. Looks like she wanted to say something but she's quiet. Not much of a reader I guess. Well that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build a deep complex fantasy world. The level of created, the creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer, writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that, but if a story makes you think or takes you to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dot me at me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write about cute things, don't you Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left that piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Looks like you were working on a poem called D Don't Say It Out Loud and Give It Back. Fine, fine. One bra moment later. Due to my mother coming home early from work, I decided to stop recording mainly because I only do these videos when I'm home alone. That way nobody, nobody knows that I'm doing YouTube Loki. Also because I don't want my mother seeing me play this game. Because it'd be a weird con conversation we'd have to have.
and I don't want that. Okay, so we lost lift off here. We already was talking about how cute Natsuki is. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you is as is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up to Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers and expose your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your own heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. You all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I just assume she slammed the disc. I have an idea. Everyone? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically... Quizzically? Quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with, comfortable with each other and strengthen our bond of the club. Isn't that right, Tony? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never really said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never really made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lost my train of thought. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Tony... You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, everyone. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, all the girls' eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy! She already wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey... You really scared me there for a moment. If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah ha, thanks I guess. Okay everyone, I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment, right? I write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me over, looks over at me once more. Thorny. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Thorny, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. So Yuri and I never walk home together anymore. Mainly because she always stayed at school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us departed at the club room and make our way to make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back then and forth, back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the lit in a literature club? Perhaps I'll even have the chance to clo grow closer to one of these girls. And I need to make that decision in the next episode.